I'll see, man. I'll be feeling like one of them ball playing like bird or magic or something. But if I leave, the fans still gonna love me, man. What's up guys today we're doing a review for bleach i've been trying to keep up um i have watched episode two but i didn't get my video out in time so we're now on episode three so episode three of bleach is the march of the star cross we have ichigo fighting the basically that quincy guy who's not really a big deal but he's definitely whooping our butt right now i mean in the overarching arc when i read the manga i don't even remember this guy honestly so but he's definitely giving us a run for our money Pulling all of the reishi out of the air makes it very hard to fight. I do think we get to see a little bit of lore building. We find out why the Quincy's and the Soul Reapers are fighting at the first time. Yamamoto brings, blames Mayuri, the, um, you know, the research cap captain for this. And he's like, no, this ain't my fault. This is your fault. If you had killed what's his name a thousand years ago, we wouldn't even be here. So I always thought that part was funny in the manga also, just because Yamamoto blames Mayuri and Mayuri is like not having any of that. Um, the animation, once again, looks amazing on this show. The reishi, the animation for it, the attacks, this is Bleach in its prime. Like, it may not end up being the best arc. It's going to be hard to top the Aizen arc. But style, animation, flair, this arc definitely has the potential to be the best season of Bleach. Um, and I don't even know how long it's going to go. The Thousand Year Bloody War arc has quite a few chapters but I'm not a, I don't know how chapters convert to episodes, so I honestly don't know how long it's going to go. We did find out some information about Ishida and his dad and his mom and the other Quincy's and how he's special somehow. Um, so there's a bit of lore dropped in there. We do get to see Halle Bell and her girls fighting and then the death of that monster guy. Um, I think it was paced perfectly. A nice amount of action. We are in the middle of a fight. And that's always the worst part about watching anime as it comes out. This fight is probably going to go on like three or four more episodes, but it's been a couple episodes, so we'll see. Um, that's just how fights go in anime, and then you have to wait a week. But all in all, I'm not going to stretch it out. You know, it's only like 15 minutes of content after, you know, the intro and the outro. But I think this episode was really good. Um, like they all have been. The first one was really good, but this one we get to see some of the Quincy abilities. We get to see the white haired guy who works for his majesty showing up because he's a big deal. And then we're about to see some more fights in Soul Society. So I'm really looking forward to that. No specific spoilers or anything like that. Um, but yeah, it's about to kick it up a notch. And that's all. I just wanted to let you guys know if you're not watching Bleach, you should watch Bleach episode three, two, and one for the thousand year world war arc are on Hulu as of right now. I don't think they're on Crunchyroll because I think Bleach is owned by Disney now, but they're not on Disney Plus, but Hulu is owned by Disney. So there's that. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Another great episode. Hopefully I can stay on top of this and get episode four out when it comes out. And in the meantime, I'll catch you guys next time. Trilogy out. Peace. I love the hustle, man. I'll be feeling like one of them ball playing like bird magic or something. But if I leave, the fans still gonna love me, man.